Today, I want to talk about a really impressive port for Mass Effect Infiltrator that is working perfectly on the PlayStation Vita. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to install this port on your PlayStation Vita. In terms of getting this game to run properly, I would say it's a medium difficulty. It's not the most difficult thing to do, but there are a few things that your PlayStation Vita needs in order to get this thing fully operational. Today, I'm going to show you the process that worked for me, and I tried to simplify it to the best of my ability. I'll also be putting the official step-by-step -step instructions on how to get this game working. It'll be in the description in case you guys get lost or just want to follow the official instructions. So let's dive right in and hopefully you guys can get this game up and running on your PlayStation Vita. Now as always, before we begin, there are a few things that you are going to need. Number one is, of course, a modded PlayStation Vita. If you have a PlayStation Vita and you have not modded it yet, no worries. I made a tutorial a while back. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below. The next thing that you're going to need is Auto Plugin 2. Auto Plugin 2 is pretty much an app for a modded PlayStation Vita that has a ton of plugins that you can install for various utilities. I'll be putting a link to where you can get the VPK file for Auto Plugin 2 in the description as well. The next thing you're going to need is Vita Homebrew Browser. If you followed my tutorial on how to mod your PlayStation Vita, you should already have Vita Homebrew Browser installed on your console. And if you don't, no worries, I'll put a link to where you can get the VPK file for Vita Homebrew Browser in the description as well. Next, you're going to need the Mass Effect Infiltrator VPK file. Once again, I'll put a link to that in the description below. And lastly, and this one will probably be the most tricky, is you need a copy of the Mass Effect Infiltrator game itself for the Android. You need the game data files because those are the assets that we're going to transfer over to the Vita and that's what's going to allow the game to play. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you where to get the game or how you can get the game. I don't believe it's available on the Play Store anymore. So you're gonna have to do a bit of digging. But if you run a Google search, it should not be too difficult to find. And when you do find the game, you need to make sure that it is version 1.0.58. This installation would not work with any other version of the game. It needs to be version 1.0.58. Once again, unfortunately, I cannot show you guys where to get the game. But if you put your detective cap on and do a little tiny bit of digging, it should not be that difficult to find. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is download a copy of Auto Plugin 2 version 2.0. So go ahead and click the link that's in the description and it's gonna take you to this site here. Go ahead and click download VPK and wait for it to download. Once you have it downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and head over to our PlayStation Vita and open Vita Shell. Once Vita Shell's open, we're going to go ahead and press the start button. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to where it says select button. Right now I have mine set to FTP. We're going to do this process via USB. So go ahead and change it to USB and then you can press the start button again. And grab your PlayStation Vita's data transfer cable, plug one end into the PC, and plug the other right into your console. Go ahead and tap the select button. Back over on the PC, your PlayStation Vita should have opened up as a USB storage. We're going to go ahead and drag the auto plugin 2.vpk file directly onto the PlayStation Vita. And then we're going to head back over to the Vita. Tap circle so that it disconnects the USB. And then scroll down to where you can find the auto plugin 2.vpk. Once you find it, go ahead and hit X and install it onto your PlayStation Vita. Once it's done installing, we can go ahead and close out of Vita Shell and find the Auto Plugin 2 bubble on our home screen. Go ahead and open it up. And if it does a couple of installations when you first open it, it's fine, that's normal. The reason why mine isn't doing it right now is because I already ran this before on this Vita. Once inside, click Vita Plugins, and we're going to locate the QBridge plugin by Official Flow. Go ahead, select it, and install it onto your PlayStation Vita. 
Once it's done, hit circle twice and exit auto plugin two. This is going to perform a reboot, so go ahead and let it do its thing. Once the Vita is fully rebooted, go back into Vita shell, tap select, and connect the USB cable back to the console and the other end back into the PC. We're gonna go to this site and get the VPK file for Mass Effect Infiltrator. Scroll down and click download VPK. It should be a really quick download. We're gonna drag the Mass Effect Infiltrator.vpk file onto our Vita. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that we have version 1.0.58 of Mass Effect Infiltrator for the Android. Once we've secured those files, we're going to open up the data folder on our PlayStation Vita, and we're gonna create a new folder inside of there called Mass Effect, all one word. We're going to open up the folder that we have our Mass Effect data files, and it should look something like this. There should be a folder in there called Assets, Lib, Meta, Res, and we're going to copy all of these folders onto our newly created Mass Effect folder on our PlayStation Vita. This might take a while, so let it do its thing. Back over on our Vita, go ahead and press circle to exit USB mode. Scroll down in Vita shell until we find the Mass Effect Infiltrator.vpk file. And then we're going to go ahead and install that. Once that's complete, we can go ahead and exit Vita shell. The Mass Effect Infiltrator bubble will now pop up on our home screen, but the game will not work yet. We're almost done. We have to do one more thing. We're going to go to our Vita homebrew browser which if you followed my tutorial on how to mod your PlayStation Vita, you should already have. If you don't, I'll put a link to the VPK where you can get Vita Homebrew Browser in the description. Open it up. And for those of you who are familiar with Vita Homebrew Browser, you know how long this thing can take to load. You might even get an error message. Go ahead and ignore the error message and wait patiently. This can take upwards of two minutes sometimes. After the eternity that it takes for Vita Homebrew Browser to load up, Go ahead and scroll all the way to the right to the tab that says Utilities. Once we're at the Utilities tab, scroll down and find Shark Breed. Click Download and let it install on your console. Once that's done, go ahead and click Open. It's going to ask if you want to close Vita Homebrew Browser, select OK, and open up Shark Breed. Now this is gonna do a bunch of stuff to your PlayStation Vita. It's gonna download things, it's gonna install things, it's gonna look like your PlayStation Vita is possessed. But don't worry, this is all very normal. It's installing the assets that it needs. Once all that chaos is over, you can go ahead and close out of Shark Breed and anything else that it might have open at that time. Find your Mass Effect Infiltrator bubble on your home screen. Go ahead and launch the game. We should now have Mass Effect Infiltrator running perfectly on our PlayStation Vita. Guys, I have to say this is one of the coolest mods slash homebrews that I've seen. I absolutely loved this game when it came out for iOS and Android, but I'm not really a big fan of touch controls, so having it on the Vita is perfect. Graphically, the game looks great, and gameplay-wise is extremely addicting. It's almost like this game was made for the PlayStation Vita. I'm so happy to see new things come out for our beloved console, and I hope the Vita continues to stay alive for years to come. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.